Now then guys, welcome to Stras Gaming. I'm Luke and this is They Are Billions. It's a game I've been playing quite a bit actually. Um, I've been really enjoying it and I thought, well, if I'm enjoying it, why not show you guys this game? If you've, if you've not seen it, it's, it's a very good game. I'll explain it as we go along. I'm a little bit behind. They have released a campaign mode. I've been playing it and it's yeah it's been it's been a good it's a, it's a good old game uh, so I'm just going to get straight into it I'm just going to uh name write your name what name uh Straz. lord Straz. screw it I'm going to call myself a lord lord Straz. on we go we'll watch the little bit of an intro and then we'll get into this game and show you what's what you it is will never know what happened it was more than two centuries ago when those humans sowed the seeds of their own destruction and left us with a legacy of terror. For all of them are now the monsters of our nightmares. How ironic that they ended up like this. I am Quintus Crane, your leader, your savior. I founded the new empire and the city that now shelters you. And now, the time has come to no longer live hidden like rats behind the walls of the great crater. It's time to face our monsters. Time to go out into the world and reconquer it for the glory of humankind. For the glory of the new Right, the new empire, eh? That is going to be me. I'm going to conquer all these guys. Thirteen years later. Welcome. So you want to be the new general to lead the reconquering campaign? I do, yes, please, yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, I warn you, my young general, your mission won't be an easy one. How many attempts have there been so far? Ten? Twelve? All your predecessors are dead or have gone mad. Do you really think you can do better than them? I will. Hmm. Okay. I'll give you a chance. Listen carefully. Our goal is to build new colonies in strategic locations to expand the empire beyond the great crater. I also want you to explore the ancient human stronghold and retrieve any technology from before the pandemic. We will use that to build more powerful colonies. You may also find swarms blocking your way. Destroy them with the might of the Empire's army. But be warned, failure is not an option. Succeed in your mission or never return. Right, that's, that sounds interesting, doesn't it? Hopefully, I was trying to turn my mic down and up so you didn't kind of hear two versions of that coming through the mic. It should be all right. So here we are. I am going to choose my... Um, my character. Obviously, I've been I've played this and I was, I was using this guy, so I'm going to be a uh, Kellerlope. Um, yeah, we'll we'll learn about it. I'll I'll lead it up so you guys can can read. As you're aware, I've mentioned a million times of dyslexic reading out loud. Just makes things a little bit more difficult for you. But yeah, she's uh, what most lethal of the all the Empire soldiers. She is well known not only for her speed in combat, but her deadly marksmanship. She'll always uh, carry her two own. Design pistols, nicknamed the Devil Sisters. Although her attack range is short, Clypey's shooting speed makes um, yeah, it's pretty much as fast as shooting. This guy's got a giant cannon, so we're gonna we're gonna use Clypey and just yeah, we're gonna pick her. Then we're gonna start here. I'm gonna put up the difficulty because obviously I've been playing it quite a bit. I'm gonna put it up to challenging to start with, and we'll just see how we go from there and see if we can kind of build up but we have got research already oh there's nothing i can do right okay so pretty much this is it we've got research to build up here obviously we've got our kind of heroes abilities but you'll see all that so we've got the uh, the hidden valley we're going to be going into yes we've changed we've changed that 
So what do we got to do? We've got to destroy the infective, have a Connolly of 300 and resist all swarms. That's fine. So obviously you get research points and empires points. So research points, we get 120 for winning this and empire points for going through, which is obviously down at the bottom uh, research point. No, victory points are when you uh, win the games, but the uh, empire points are used for the swarms that you mentioned. We'll see them later on. So we'll get straight back into it. Obviously, I'm not using my uh, my webcam for this gameplay. I don't see the need to it. If you do want me to put it up there, just leave a note in the comment, all that sort of stuff. And I'm sure I can add it in and find somewhere to add my lovely pretty face. Just remember, I don't have a green screen, so we'll miss... You'll, you, you'll, you'll miss a bit of the game. So here we are. We're starting off. And I think I've got the hang of this game now, and I know what I'm doing. So first of all, I'm going to play some tents. Let's get some tents going. And it's pretty much... It, it's like an RTS game. I do I do enjoy it. I have kind of got the hang of it nowadays. So I just need to... Who that is just telling me I don't... Yeah, I don't really need to know about that. You go there. Just got to watch what's going on. I don't know if every map is the same when it comes to... As being... When it we're being generated from the start. Uh, right, you guys there. Go destroy that person. You go destroy that person. Good, right. Yeah, we need food. We're going to do that. We'll just pause it. I do pause it a lot just to get through it. But again, we ain't got any we ain't got any gold yet. So we'll wait for the gold. We'll just unpause it there. Let's go attack you guys. Oh, there's no more there. So you go attack them. Go ahead. Round it. Oh, I thought that crow was an enemy. There we go. Uh, do not get killed. Whatever you do, do not get killed early on. Because I will not be happy. Right. I've got enough gold for food, though. So I'll put a fisherman's cottage down. I reckon 16 there would be nice. And then I'll add a couple more a couple more homes down, I reckon. Uh, yeah, okay, cool. Go there. Right, you can collect. Yeah, I kind of get that. We need to move out. We've got some stone, which is nice. We've got a little few, few hundred zombies there to kill. So we'll kind of do that. We'll move you up here. Have I got someone missing? How many people did we start with? Okay. Why are you almost dead? What have you been attacking? Did you survive? Okay, yeah. Right, we'll bring you two over here. You two can go in here and start attacking. Uh, and then we are going to... Hopefully I don't lose straight away. That would be pretty embarrassing if I lose straight away. We'll get some more tents out. We need more food. That ain't going to happen, is it? Put some food in here. 17 there. It's fine. In fact, we need to get some wood on the go as well at some point. So these guys are slowly working their way forward. You guys as well can go here. I think one of you... Right, okay. One of you needs to go here. And just guard this bridge. And then... Oh, what's that? Okay, yeah, it just tells you about the infected here, and then you can just sit here for now. So we've got a swarm coming in 20 days. That's what that little counter is on the left-hand side. Tells you when the swarms are. We've got a load of infected up here. We'll just let you guys just go away. You guys killing... Yeah, I've placed one already. I am just want to have you guys just run in here and try and take out these guys if we can. More tents would be nice. Sawmill, Luke. Sawmill. Just wasted that now. Might as well put these down now. We'll get the sawmill in a second. Try and put these nice and neat. If I can. So you're happy just to sit there. I'm going to put a patrol on you. Just to keep you going. And then you should be happy there. But if I just patrol you to go backwards and forwards. You guys are killing nicely which is good just need to wait to get some gold obviously it's all about resources and all that sort of stuff i can probably put you there as well just be able to get some stone going pretty quick don't think there's any more people coming from that way so yeah it's just kind of like a base builder um obviously a load of zombies here and the hordes do get quite hard and it does get quite she's about to die run away Whew, that was close i'm so glad i saw that i really am glad i saw that is there something else here that i could have grabbed I don't know. I've got to watch this. I'm got to be careful. Right, you can come back over here for a second, for a second and help her out. Right, we need to build some. There we go. Sawmill. So where's the best? I think that's going to be a seven wood. 
per turn. So when you put it down, it tells you how much kind of, whether that's seven, eight and whatever, it tells you how many wood per turn you're going to get. And it obviously just tells you down here. At the minute, I'm not getting any wood income. I don't have any wood. So when I put that down, seven per turn would be good. I'm getting 284 gold per turn as well, which is nice. On your left-hand side here of that, you've got your colonists. You've got how many people can work. You've got how much food is being produced, uh, well, how much food is left and energy and all that sort of stuff. So general sort of things you get from these sort of games. You can come here and help her out. These guys do regenerate the energy, which is their energy, their health, which is quite handy, to be honest with you. We'll just kind of sit you there for now, I think. Yeah. We don't want you to go too far. You guys can start. If we clear out this bit, it'd be kind of happy. We've just got to be careful that no zombies come along. Because as soon as they start taking out your tents and stuff like that, you're literally knackered. So, um, yeah. Let's just keep attacking. Attack away. I've just got to be watchful of this, to be honest with you. I think I might... Just put you on a patrol, Max. I don't want any zombies coming on off this way. We're knackered. Right, so we've finally got a sawmill up and running. Can I get another one? I don't have the gold just yet. I have... I'll wait, actually. I'll wait till the gold comes along. Um, food energy. I don't need wood, actually. I thought you needed wood for these guys. Obviously not, so we'll just plant you down again. I need to make some more food, but I'm just going to wait to get some gold. Here we go. The gold's here. So let's just do a sawmill, 11, yeah, a nice 11 there, and then I can get some food in on the trees as well, 13, let's have a quick look. This mode here literally just shows you where you can build, uh, 16, there we go, that's nice. Can we get any more food in here? We can't, so we'll leave that there, we'll click off that, we'll just watch these guys come through, we'll get you patrolling kind of there, go backwards and forwards, these guys can just carry on killing. So if you push Q and then just left click, it kind of moves them forward. And what they do, they attack the kind of the enemies in that area, which is kind of cool, which I've kind of figured out. Hopefully they don't get overrun here. I just need to watch them. They are killing them quite quick, which is good to see. Hopefully. We should do all right. Those, yeah, they should take him out quite, quite nice and easy, which is good. Right, we'll pause that. What else am I going to do? Need more food. We are building stuff, so that's fine. Um... You got your objectives down here. It tells you exactly what you need to do. Destroy, obviously, all the infected. So every infected on the map. Get rid of them. Obviously, population of 300, which is fairly easy to get. Well, it should be all right, to be honest with you. I'll probably get that sooner rather than later. And I'll just keep popping tents down. I'll do foods a little bit low again. Can I get a quarry yet? Quarry, I need energy. We're running out of energy. So energy is here. Again, I need the wood. So we'll just let the wood come through. Probably another sawmill. I've got a sawmill coming. It's not actually there just yet. But if we take out these guys, I know there's some resources down here. So we'll do that. You guys are doing all right here. Once we've cleared all this bit, I will just kind of go on and... There we go. We've got more, more wood coming in now. So have we got enough to get the quarry yet? We need energy and we need wood. But we can get energy when the wood comes through in a second. So we'll unpause it. We'll just move these guys... Through. Come on, keep attacking if you can. These guys are all good still. I want the stone as quick as we can because then the stone, you can then bring out your soldiers, your sh solder shoulders center. I can't say that, can I? And then you can build all your units and all that, all that sort of jazz. So that's what we need to do. Um, what do I want? I need power. I need wood yet, yeah, and it's not ready. Come on, guys. Keep attacking. There's some food here, which is nice. There's a lot, a lot of zombies coming our way here. You should be fine. You guys are doing all right. There's a lot up there as well. You should be all right. We've got the wood now. Let's create the power. The power. It's not a zombie, is it? No. Okay. The power you can only put in like certain areas as well. It's different. I can't build a load of powers in one area. You can kind of do it in different zones where you put. These Tesla Towers. I'm going to build another Tesla Tower if I can as well. Uh, where do I want to build it though? That's the question. Probably around here. I want to build up this way. Because obviously this is the only entrance is in. So I want to get that there. Because you can build walls and defences. You've got wood walls, uh, gates. We haven't got towers or anything yet. I think you have to research them. But it'll be fine. Should be all good. There's still loads more zombies in the back there. So we've got to be careful. 
the your units do upgrade as well. Obviously, after a certain amount of kills and stuff, you get XP, all that sort of stuff. They're just happy, happy killing along. You guys are still sitting there quite nicely. So we'll just tick along. We'll wait to get some more power. We need some more food as well. I can't fit any in there. And it's just a case of just finding where you can fit in. There we go. 11 there. Which is good. We're just waiting for the uh, waiting for the power. We can build some more homes then. We've got some more food coming in. These guys just kill these zombies down here. That food is going to be quite nice to collect. Just got to be careful. There's no one else coming in. Which is good. Right, we've built the power. The that is coming on nicely. So we just need 30 wood. I'll wait and I'll get the quarry on the go. And then we'll get some more food, I reckon. There you go. Quarry can come here now. So we get four stone. So you get different... You get... What do we get? You get stone. You get woods. And iron, I think, is the other one. So this is completely fine now. I don't think any zombies come from down here. So we're all good. So we can move these two back up here now. They can kind of start clearing out. If we use... Kind of one of them just to patrol this a little bit. And we'll get things on the move. Right, we'll add some more homes in here. Oh, damn, that one looks horrible, doesn't it? Why have I done that one? Can I undo that? Okay, we've got to make them look neat at least, haven't we? Uh, nice and neat. We'll just do a nice little circle going on there. Can I put sawmill there? I can put a sawmill there. That's really handy. I didn't realise I could do that. There you go. That's a nice little sawmill. That's a good place for that. I didn't realise you could do that. Uh, right, get the wood income coming up. You guys. You'll soon start to become veterans. We'll uh, start clearing out this left-hand side. We'll keep these two doing what they're doing. We can fall back if we need be. We don't want to push too far forward as well. That's the other thing. If, we push, if you push alt as well... Lifts up everyone's health. Right, we've got to watch for this guy coming in. That's all right. So we'll just sit there for now. They're going to start running in by little, little bits at a time. So we'll just retreat forward a little bit. Back a bit, even not forward. Who retreats forward? Right, have we got enough to build a salt? 20 stone. So we're getting five stone per turn. So it's going to be per turn per, like, is it every couple of hours we get stone and stuff like that. So we'll, um, we'll wait out. We'll... Um, Build some more tents. We'll get some more, some more people on the way. I reckon. What are we are, eighty-six conolists, uh, people, pretty much conolists. Is that how you say it? I feel like I'm saying that wrong. Uh, we need more food again. More food. We'll get building of a Tesla tower out here. We'll build it around here. Probably I should have done that there, and maybe we would have been able to get some fishing going on the go. Is there any food here? Not yet, I don't think. Uh, well, we can plant, to be honest with you, you can put it anywhere because it's quite rich ground for food. So we'll have a look, see if we can come across. We'll take a random 12. I would normally strategically put it in places, but we'll, uh, we'll just do that for now. Get some more food on the go. It's a nice early easy early mission to be honest we just need to watch the days we're on day four 12 hours in obviously 20 days to the swarm hit so you just gotta just gotta watch yourself when it comes to these swarms i think they come from this left hand side are these guys come veterans yet they're not and the stone obviously four per turn we need to get more stone doing any more stone deposits we'll just let that do what we do we'll just have to put up with our four archer units that we've got at the minute and it's not a lot, but you can make do with with the troops at the start. You can you can do quite well with them. You can... Oh, food is running out. Food runs out quite quick on this map. That's quite annoying. Right, can I not put food there yet? No. Can I put a sawmill? Nope. Eight there. Let's just fill this up here as well, and hopefully I might be able to get some 
fish off that. These guys will just push out slowly. We don't want to aggravate them too much. Nice and easy. Just watch this guy. There we go. We've got a veteran, so the other one will start coming up. Which is nice. It just gives them a bit more bit more XP to start killing a few more people. What I might do is just kind of switch you around with that and then put you up there. So you can start getting some experience. Let's just drop you back a little bit. What we want, we want to try and get these veterans as quick as possible. We'll just sit there for a minute. Right, what have we got? We've got too much wood going on at the minute. So we need to spend it. I haven't got enough to build a centre yet. Well, power's doing all right. Food's not doing great. I'm trying to just build out here as quick as we can. Because then I can start walling off and putting some bits and bobs up there. Um, see if we can get some more food on the go. There we go. Will it let me do it? won't let me put a fisherman's thing anywhere that's really really annoying but we've got more trees here so we should be able to 18 there we go that's some big food there he's going right what i might do actually is get you involved and just get you kind of patrolling that we just don't want anyone to sneak past. That's the thing. You can get some sneaky things. You, obviously, you've got your map edge as well. See where that is. It's quite a small map, this one is. Keep going forward. Wood as well. So much wood we've got. Right, food's 26. Power's a bit low. We'll get some more power on the go. Using up all the gold, which is annoying, but we'll get we've got some more tents we can put down. One tent anyway. There you go. These three here are doing all right. They could probably clean this out. Build an army, yes, because we've got enough stones. So we just need to wait for the goal, the gold to come through now, and I'll be able to build the the soldiers' center. And we'll just got people coming through here, which is uh, it's fine. These let these zombies come to us. We'll uh. We'll deal with them however we can. We need 450 gold for the soldiers' centre. That's a lot harder than we think. So the next, it tells you here when it's coming through. When that bar's full, we're going to get some more goodies come through. Have we got any of these veterans yet? They must be close. We'll just let them keep firing away. We don't want to push too far forward. We'll let her just run backwards and forwards. There we go. Right, um, attack these guys. Oh, you've aggravated them. Kill it. Kill them all. All right, gold. Right, okay, we got it. So we want this. I'll whack you there. And I'll get another Tesla Tower put round about here, I reckon. And then, can I build some more tents? Yeah, so 136 population at the minute. Oh, let's just move you back if you're being attacked. The veterans though now, we've got another veteran on the uh, on the go, which is good to see. So I wanna try and get this. I'm not used to having all this wood around here, to be honest with you. That's the other thing. So many places to get some sawmills down. Get the wood production going. We are obviously filling it quite quick. But we use them up quite quick as well. Especially when you're producing the units and building all the other stuff. Oh. Right, just kill them all, kill them all quickly. There we go. Just got to be careful. Just got to be careful. They are slowly trickling out towards us, which is fine. Right, we've got some more gold. So, thinking if I might just put another sawmill here. I'll take the 11. And then I'll just put some more. Really annoys me that all sudden you just can't place them. 
places that would do these three are killing quite nicely now what day is one day six which is fine which is good i think we're doing all right as as things are we'll just keep this going keep trying to mow this herd down we haven't got anyone that's leaking through which is good oh, get the kill yes there we go so i'll just show you what you can do with the fences here so we've got a lovely gate which will fit quite nicely just there but the gates do die quite quick and you can candle up double up on them. we'll do two gates there then you can do them um, over the train tracks one we'll do two there and you've got the the wooden fences which you can place as well so we've just got some fences there which is fine it just slows the infected down when they come in a Come at you. You've got a fallback point here, which is good. We've also got the soldier centre, so we will start trying to build some ranges. Obviously, they cost gold, so you need to try and get your gold production up. And to get your gold production up, obviously, um, as well, the more conalists you have, the more people you have living there, is the more gold you have to uh, to spend. So we just need to try and get that up as well. We'll whack you there. We we'll just need also some more food coming through, so we will look what we've got here 15 16 we'll take the 16 that'll do you guys all right or oh, fully health we've almost taken out all this and to be honest with you now i've got the gates up i can probably bring you as well in so we can use all four because we'll know if someone starts attacking it we'll start getting a notification saying you are being attacked which is fine which is handy right um We've got money. We need food. We did. We're building food. That's fine. We will build another uh, another Tesla tower. We'll try and get. Let's have a look. We'll get one there. So we want to try and eventually build up all over. I think you just build all over this bit, and we can get the defenses up quite well. And we'll build one here. There we go. Probably could have done with building more uh, archers thinking about it with that gold we had but oh oh well it's fine what we got we've got five for the minute i think five should be enough you get you get about 15 20 of them at the at beginning early game i reckon it's gonna be pretty unstop unstoppable force just if you creep your way forward take your time with it and yeah it should be all good i thought we had a doomed village there Doom Village is pretty much a house where these guys live. There we go. We'll build more. They're running at us now. We've aggravated them. Can I put another house down? I can, though. I can, which is good. We'll do that now. We'll get one down at least. We'll probably be able to easily get to the amount of conalists. Uh, amount of people living with us let's just pull back a little bit because they are attacking us there we go that's fine we've almost cleared this area as well which is good let's just oh, pull back see what i might do now is just build an an army here and we'll take out and start clearing out this this area up here and these guys can just hang back and chill and uh, we're going to need to fall back pushing too far forward that's why I'm not doing the Q and click attack instead of just doing the normal right click so if you do Q and then I click like over there left click it they'll stop if they see enemies if you just right click it they'll just keep running but it's fine. They should be all right. Hopefully they won't get swarmed here. Yeah, they're fine. I'll just let you sit there. I think that's where the swarm's going to come from. So we'll um, we can probably build out in here as well now, if we wanted to. Uh, let's get some more homes on the go. Right, we'll try and again try and make them as neat as possible. Food, food, blooming food every. Every time, food. There we go. I don't really need to worry about a sawmill because we've got plenty of things there. Can I build another archer? Might as well. 
guys are doing alright here. They're fine, you're fine, don't you worry about it guys. They're not in danger. Again, your whole idea is you push out, so you find out where the uh, points are and have a quick look to see what you think is going to happen and where where the swarms are going to come from. I'm pretty sure they come from the uh, from up here, so we've just got to get this board off quite nicely, which we can, obviously, if we build another Tesla Tower in here, which I might just go ahead and do. We'll slowly do that, and then obviously we've got all the resources with the, with the wood. I don't think we can build further on this way, actually. So you can only build to your left here, which is fine. There's no wrong with that. We'll get another Tesla Tower in here as well. Uh, and then we'll get some good old homes on the go. We've got food. We have got food. So we'll... Uh, I say got food. We've run out of food already. Again, we've run out of food. How annoying is that? I don't plop any more food anywhere else. I just saw an 11 somewhere. 9. 11, that would do. You guys should be all right to take out this. So I'll just sit you there. And we'll just see how you uh, how you guys get on. So we just need to continue on. Just pushing out a little bit. Have we got a little bit of an army going on here? Slowly building. Slowly, slowly, slowly. Uh, we just need to wait for these farms to build. And put you on there. We could actually... We have got a bit of an army going on here, actually. Thinking about it. We'll, uh, we'll send... I only want two of you. You can go up there. You guys can go this way. You can slowly start clearing out some... Uh, clearing them out a little bit. And we'll keep going on, pushing forward. So we've got food now, so let's just build more houses. Let's get these workers on the go as quick as we can. Let's do my head in. I can't build these properly. Build down... Right, so we're running out of what? Food? Again? Yep. Shock. We need food. 15, 15, 15. Can't use that. 12. We'll take that 12. We've already got food over there. We've got a 10 here, which is nice. 13 there. Let's just keep going to get as much food as we can. We'll build some more archers. And I use too much gold. Then these guys can just keep going. Let's just push you back a little bit. Fall back, fall back, fall back. See so yeah, how quick they are just, just to kill them. It's nice and easy, actually. Nice and easy. We've just got to watch these guys, though. These guys are a bit... Dangerous territory. There we go. Hunter's cottage ready. We've got more food. Need more power. So we'll whack some power in here, shall we? We'll put some there. Do I want to get the Tesla Towers up here so I can start building a bit of a, a defense on this wall here. Let's just pull back a little bit. These guys, these guys are doing well. I think they're still just attacking quite nicely, which we'll do. Fire away. Hey, we've got another veteran. You guys, we'll go there. The train as well. If the train hits the zombies, it kills them, which is really, really nice because... Yeah, we don't get killed. We just get moved away. Just got to be careful with that army there. All right. Let's whack another Tesla Tower down. Right, right. We might as well put it there so we can probably get all the food. Where's that going there? So if I do that there, we can get this side as well. Feels a bit of a waste, but it will do. We'll get a couple more on the... Eh, not enough resources. We'll put you guys over here. They're doing alright. They're getting some nice killing on the go. Yeah, so if you have a look here, where it's all greyed off, this is the edge of the map. 
So this is where I really want to build my wall. Just there. So it's map edge. I feel like that's where they're going to come from. Yeah, so we've got no one there. So if I build more te Tesla Towers up here, guard this off with walls, and then just put your army behind it. When they come attacking, that's fine. You can put a full back there if needs be. Um, you guys are all here. Oh, look, there's more resources here, more food. Um, so, which is good. We'll uh, get you guys to keep attacking. We're almost at the 300 colonists, which is pretty cool. We've got 400 gold coming in every turn. There's going to be some weird noises coming on. Round near my laptop. And, well, not my laptop, my PC. And I don't know what it is. Sounds like I'm going to be attacked by like some sort of wasp or something. But if we do, what have we... I'll just keep building. Keep building. Food is another problem. Yet again, Tesla Tower. These ones are built. We'll just build up here. Can't build there yet, so that's fine. Just watch these guys. There's some food here for us to grab in a second. So we'll um we can grab this food. There's gold as well. Let's just pull back a little bit. Okay, yeah. We're gonna have a slowly we've got to keep this here. We'll have a slow trickle probably coming from this place up here. Right, can we grab this gold? Gold's always good to have. Now we've got power now. We've got food again. Build more huts. We'll just keep building as many of these as possible. Just to get it through. Right, no food. See, these warriors also take uh, workers. They take up workers. They don't take food, actually, the rangers, which is quite cool. Um, some, of the, some of the other units use food, I think. I'm pretty sure they do. Obviously, the workers is how many workers you've got left. These guys are killing quite nicely. We'll keep them going. There we go. Should be nice and easy. I think we've got a nice big enough army there just to take out this lot. Just got to be careful, though. If they all swarm you, you'd be pretty screwed. Oh, we're about to lose some people. Let's, we don't want to lose anyone, do we? Pull back. I'll take on this guy as well. Let's give them a minute just to recharge. We've got money again. Let's build another Tesla Tower. So obviously we want to try and... Right, here we go. Get it up here as much as we can. That's the edge of the map. We're going to probably build another one. So if I build one there, then I'll build another one over here. Once that's done, I'll whack some more power down. We need more food. So you know what? We've got fishing lakes which we can utilise here, I think. We can. This side, yes. Get some fishing on the go. Doesn't really matter which food you use. Some maps are rich in kind of fish fishing and stuff, so the more um the more they give you more food, pretty much. That's what I'm trying to say. And some have got more farmland. Some places are barren, so they don't have enough food. For everyone. We're almost at the uh, colonist. How how many we need? We're almost at the 300. We'll just randomly plop you in there to be the last one. Wait for these fishermen huts to, to come, and I think we should be all right. Then we've got another group of armies building up here. So we'll should we build some more. Probably build some more. And then we'll chuck you guys this way over here. You got have you cleared all that? There's some more food for us to grab, which is good. We might be able to clear this map quite quick, actually, and then it'll just be the case of waiting for day 20, I reckon. Right, let's pull you guys back. Let's just there we go. Have you guys just attack everyone? Tesla Tower's built where we want it. If we do that, that fills everything up, and then we can get some walls going on here. Yeah, that's good. I just don't, I can't remember where the, the horde comes from, and I don't know if it's up here. I feel like it would be, but if they come down here, we're a bit screwed, so I need to try and figure out what I'm going to do with that. 
Uh, right. Build more houses. We'll build you some here. You can have some secluded ones, shall we? In within the amongst the rocks. They look safe, them ones do. They look safe. I'd say they look safe. Um, I'm just going to stop plonking them right down wherever. There we go. Move you across. Can you not go there? Go there. I feel like that's going to be enough. And I'm pretty sure I need some more food. That's what I need. More food. Apparently I'm in minus food. I don't understand how, but I am. Right, you guys. I think there's some zombies over here for you to kill. So go kill. Oh yeah, there's a few of them, isn't there? So I'm pretty sure you can't. Yeah, it won't let me build there. Right, anyway. Let's just go there and slowly move up and kill these guys. Then we'll wall off this bit here. So we'll go from where we camp. We'll just look at where we're doing. And we'll just kind of double wall it all. I've run out of wood. Run out of wood. I could build another sawmill somewhere though as well. We don't really need it. It'd be a bit over the top because we're only 50 woods the most amount we can carry at the minute. Right, you guys go there. Carry on killing. We've got something else up here we're going to be able to grab, which is nice. More gold. We almost at the. I think yeah. When we get the next lot of people. I think we're going to be over the 300 mark, which is good. I'll chuck a couple more down just in case, just to be, just to be safe. And let's build some more rangers. Probably stick you there. Oh, it's the cat. The cat is scaring me. That's what's going on. Uh, right, so we're going to move there, dude. Do 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 do. Just, just keep building. Just don't have to. Eventually, obviously, you can get towers. You can build, put them in there, and it just kind of keeps things nice and safe. It's not too sure what to do about this bit. I'm pretty sure they don't come down here. I think they definitely just come from from above. We've got the workers. Yeah, 300. So we've just got to destroy all the infected, and there'll be a big lot of zombies that will come try and kill us. That's just got to guard against that when they come which will be fine i think we'll we'll easily do this one i probably could have done this one on like the highest difficulty i reckon probably not i reckon it would be just zombies everywhere and could be crazy i am going to build a full back just here so you do tab just to um what was it just to rotate a little bit i'll just get three doors in there and then we'll get some more the joys of having Expended income. Um, I can't build anymore yet. I'll, I'll sort that out in a second. Right. There's no, no there, so we'll just go there. Put you guys there. So you obviously you can select, if you right click when you've clicked on it, you can select where um, you want your troops to, to go out to. You guys can run up there. Oh, look. There we go. Steady stream of zombies are coming in. It auto saves as well. There's no way of you just ulting and saving whenever you want and then trying to quit out. This you can you can save whenever you quit. It automatically saves. But other than that, it doesn't really do any doesn't really do anything else. Uh, we can repair the walls. We'll do that and we'll we'll keep trying to uh, double wall these where we can. Well, I was going to kind of build up around this bit here if we can. I definitely can, which is cool. Running out of wood again. Where's my army? Go over here. Kill. Um, just gonna keep 
All the gates. There we go. There's loads of gates there. If there's a swarm coming through this way, I think we should be able to handle it with all the gates. I reckon, anyway, at least. It's going to be an easy one if we've got 2,000 gold. There's nothing else I can really build. Well, maybe another soldier centre where we get more workers and just more wood and just double up on what we're what we've got, but there's no point in me doing that. Right, come on. Get kill him. We'll move you over here. Yeah, you'll be fine. Let's just keep keep topping him up. You guys are alright here. Can't annoyingly you can't build on a. Uh... What am I trying to say? You can't build on a on a corner. But what I'm going to do, I'm just going to create a little box here because I can, and that will just give us a fallback point. And they'll come in here, and the, if they do break through, I doubt they will, but we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. That we'll just move you here for now and the only problem with just putting too many here, they're not gonna be able to reach when they come and attack, if you know what I mean. So we'll just put you guys in there. Attacking you guys and just go go attacking. I think there's enough here for me to just hit chase and they'll just go down and start hunting down all of them, I reckon. But we'll Do you know what I am just for that just for the hell of it just because I can I'm just gonna put another center down and get some more Rangers on the go. How many we got 31 Rangers? It's ridiculous. That's way too many Boom fire away look at that We'll grab these resources. We don't actually need them so, right, so if I hit this chase button now, which they are going to go chase, they're going to go find zombies to kill. There we go. So, yeah, you just push the chase button when you, when you pretty much know you can dominate. And they will find out the last ones. It's Because it's really annoying when it comes to you've done it all. You're on, like, you've done all your targets. You just now destroy the rest of the infected. And when there's none left, you're a bit like, oh, okay, that's annoying. Where are these guys going? They're going up here. They're on chase and they're obviously going up here to try and find the last of the infected, I'm guessing. You're not going to be able to get them though, are you? Let's just stop. So I've got four days to wait. Until we get to the um, get to the invasion. So what I might do, I'm just going to do a cut here. Just sit and wait for these uh, four days to go past. And uh, yeah, we'll be back and you get to see the swarm. Right, so we've got a dozen infected heading north to the... Um, to the to us, pretty much. North. So I'm guessing it's all going to be here. I've got these guys just sat here because I don't think they're going to be coming that way. But we've got plenty of people here if we just try and get them close in here i reckon so yeah so it's one more effective it's coming in 19 hours so in day 20 so it tells you in plenty of time we've got lots of lots of thing people being trained it's this first mission's a bit over the top it really is um could have been a lot shorter i've absolutely aced it to be honest with you and i didn't expect to ace it as quick as quick as this these guys are just going to be in that trains way so let's just move out of the way a little bit We'll just see where we're coming on. Obviously, it comes on the map as well. We'll um, we'll get another one there. Hopefully, you can run through that. We'll just test that. You're not going to get stuck, are you? No. Okay. We'll get some more. Just trying to like bolster the defences up just in case they get through. I doubt they will, though. But we'll... You know, when you've got a 
take precautions just in case. There we go. Six hours to go. I'm pretty sure they're all just going to come from there. I don't think they're going to come over the bridge. So if, if, the, if I know that, I'll just run these guys all the way up there. Two hours to go. And they're coming, yeah, they're coming just from up here. Run you guys up here. That's fine. They'll trickle in. We'll take them out quite quick, I reckon. I don't think there'll be many of them. Yeah, it doesn't look like a lot really, does it? There's too many of us. To that. I think there's probably more of us than is of, is of them, I reckon. They are slowly chewing through the walls, but it's fine. We've got full backs. We've got lots of lots of uh, rangers, though. They're not going to get through. It's gonna. We're just going to easily, easily piss this one. Probably just fall back a little bit. Fire away. Is that um, done, do you reckon? Nice and easy. So that, you get the gist of it. It's pretty decent. We've got a final score of 100. Which is nice. It's what we want. And then we open up new places for us to go. So we've opened up... What have we opened up? The Crossroad, the Hunter's Meadow, and the last bunker. Right, the last bunker. I like these games. This is where you use your hero. It's like a point-and-click game. Um, pretty good. We'll, um, we'll go through that in a second. What we're going to do is have a quick look see what we've got here. So we've got 170 points to create. We can build so, uh, soldiers which are pretty much, they've got assault rifles and blah, 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 and all that sort of stuff. We can improve the, what is it, the Fisherman's Cottage generates 20 more food, I think it is. We get an extra unit at the beginning, which is quite handy, to be honest with you. I do like that. Defense tower, which are good. I feel like we need the defense, defense tower. Um, but what I'm going to do, I'm not going to use it just yet. We've got 170 points to play. I'm going to end this one here. We're going to come back, we're going to do the last bunker, and then they pretty much, they give you more stuff to get, and it's a bit of a twist on it, If you, you've probably already seen it already, but we'll we'll come back and we'll we'll play this mission, so if you guys have liked this first episode, yes, it's going to be long, it's going to be about 40 minutes long, because these things are, um, leave a like, subscribe, all that sort of stuff, let me know what you think, if you want more of this sort of kind of game on the channel, let me know, Obviously, other than the football manager stuff, just let me know down below. Anyway, I'm going to leave it here, guys. Thank you very much for watching. I'll catch you in the next one. See you in a bit.